We constantly are trying to help. In fact, a few of them were coming out of 311 Grove Street with the drug overdoses that we had. When we walked house to house, door to door, walked in because we had had enough of all the drug activity that's taking place. Many of these people won't take help. When you try to provide them, we have facilities in South Bend. Uh, I know where this question, I assume, is leading. And uh, let's work. Let's define how many people really we are dealing with and what we're talking about doing with the federal funds. Let's talk about more than giving a bath and a shower. Let's talk about changing their lives. Let's talk about changing the generation of poverty, getting them the mental health that they need, as well as true housing. And we've already started 701 Maple. You're going to see comes before the city council on Monday. And that was an inhumane situation that created homelessness. And why was that ignored for so long as well? And we stepped in, cleaned it up. People are going to be able to move back in there with affordable rents, and live without having bed bugs, drugs, uh, violence going on every day in those apartment complexes. And I want to remind everybody, 265 police calls within the first 254 days, putting our police at risk. But the poor people that had to live this way uh, is unacceptable. So uh, I'll be glad to talk to you in more deal about the people that we work every day to try to help when they come to City Hall and get them help, get them food, get them water uh, and potential housing. But the people there also have to do their part to follow through.